Jamar Chase on being evil today. Jamar Chase, the Jake Browning connection, guys. What an upset win for the Bengals. Sometimes I feel evil. Sometimes I sometimes? feel I get that. Yeah, sure, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Listen, God bless Jake Browning. Remember the <laughs> yeah. remember this league that I've been complaining about like the entire week about that like, I'm gonna lose out of the playoffs, and everything like that? And I was going to lose to the last place team because they had DK Metcalf, the, the league that I, B. Rubes is I, in. I zoned out a little bit. I remember the cliff notes of it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I don't blame you. Anyway, Jake Browning and Joe Mixon. <laughs> I needed the greatest game of their lives last night. <laughs> I had a Monday you night miracle came back. I'm in the playoffs. I ended up coming right. back and winning because I had I started Jake. That league, I lost Joe, Br Joe Burrow. I started Jake Browning, uh, who gets the, the worst QB sneak in history, but it gets That's, in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wasn't very and I had Joe Mixon. And... Uh, and God bless. God bless. Jake Brown. Monday, hey. Monday Night Miracles do come true. I'm in the playoffs. And now I, and I play in this league. I play producer Damien. So this is going to be tough. I have my work cut out for me. Okay. Jake yeah. Browning once threw 91 touchdowns in a single high school season. That seems pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Like he might throw 91 touchdowns in the NFL season. That's, playing like right. he did How last does that even that's what I, I tried doing the math in my head, and I just can't get around it. I got to <laughs> go on YouTube and no, find that's this. That's like six a game or whatever. Easy. Yeah. Uh, that's no, not even close to six yeah, a game. Because in high school, they high school only play, play like, lot. it's like yeah. nine a game. Okay, How to, many did they? So say he won this, let's say he won the state championship. <laughs> he probably had to have about seven a game. At least seven yeah. a game, I would yeah. think. That's, and it's, that's I mean, bananas. That's remarkable. In it's Australia, remarkable. we have our and high it's also school mean. seasons mirror our pro seasons, ah, like yes. real countries. Right. Yeah. You, guys, you guys moved to an 18-week season? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Brutal. Poor no kids on the IR. No seasons for 12-year-olds? No. Australian Six, young athletes. You guys are just free. out there in, like, little skirts and whatever, <laughs> skirts. And, like, you know, like kilts or whatever it is. Kilts, yeah. Um, look, uh, real talk here for a second. Uh, let's talk about Cincinnati. I, Browning was terrific, right? He had more fantasy points in Week 13 than in his last two games combined. Uh, his hot, fourth highest QBR in Week 13 – I think I saw that he set the record for the highest uh, completion percentage of a player in his second game ever and the highest completion percentage by a Bengals quarterback ever. Better than Burrow, better than Carson Palmer, better than the Red Rifle. Um, <laughs> Hello, list. Yes, it uh, certainly is. But look, and I think, you know, 354 yards, he, he gets he gets he a few points with his legs. He gets a rushing touchdown, as he saw there, and 22 points. Like, I think he's I think he's a viable two-quarterback league uh you know, streamer if you need it. Colts, then Vikings at Pittsburgh, at Kansas City. Schedule doesn't do them any favors, but they're going to have to throw it as a fantasy-friendly offense here. Nice to see Joe Mixon do Joe Mixon things. Second game this season with 25 touches. I expect them to lean on the run uh, with Browning under center. But I thought the interesting thing here was the usage of Chase Brown. He played only 11 offensive uh, plays, right? Just 15% of the snaps. But he touched the ball on nine of them. And it feels like, again, as we approach waivers, and you're tr if you have Mixon, Chase Brown becomes an important insurance back if you're making the playoffs. Not somebody you'd ever start, but if something were to happen to Mixon, Chase Brown would become pretty important. Yep, certainly. Played with a lot of bursts last night. Chase Brown seemed to add some vigor into the offense. Just on Jake Browning quickly, he was fantastic last night. I'd rein it in a little bit in terms of projecting him going forward. One, he's got some tough matchups. Two, he was only pressured on 27% of his dropbacks last night. Jags don't really have a pass rush. Right. He was pressured on 48% against Baltimore, 34% against Pittsburgh, and he wasn't nearly as effective in those games. But I think it is great to see how quickly he's been getting the ball out as yeah. well. Yeah, no, he was great of, last night. Yeah, but I, I agree with you, Jay. Jacksonville's pass rush, big problem, and a big win for the Bengals. That, that was a must win for their playoff hopes yep. last night, and he went on the road, and he won it on a national stage. I think the positives of T. Higgins here, he's played 78% of the snaps. He led all Bengals wide receivers in average depth of target. I know a bad day at the office, but the fact is, is that after what you saw last night, T. Higgins was back. Jake Browning looked a lot better. I think you feel better about T. Higgins after last night as well. Jags with the Lawrence injury. They'll lean on Evan Ingram, Zay Jones, and the run game. We're going to break when we're back. Back to the futures right after this. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay, I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own Fantasy Football Happy Hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.